Hello! In this video, we are going to be talking about what is inside my medicine cabinet. I told you guys I would film this video and I'm finally getting around to it. So background information on this medicine cabinet. It is new. I just had it installed last fall when we did our bathroom reno. It's from Ikea. It's called the God Morgan. I'll put the dimensions below, but I think it's the biggest size that you can get. I think all of the God Morgans come in the same height, but they come in different widths. So you can get one that's only one single door, uh, or you can get one that has two like mine. So again, it's the biggest one that you can get. I think it's something like 36 inches wide. It has two doors, so they both open window style, and they have movable shelves. They're glass shelves, so it's actually really difficult to rearrange anything in there because if you want to move a shelf, you actually have to take the door off, at least on this model. So you gotta pre-plan what you want to put in there because it's actually quite a hassle to move the shelves around. But once they're in, you know, they're perfect. They're very sturdy. So I'll explain a little bit more of my organization system in the video, but I essentially split it into two sections, skincare, skincare overflow, and then hair and body. But mostly my skincare stays on this side of the cabinet, which is, I guess, technically your right and my left. And then on this side is where I keep like the hair and the body products and skincare overflow, like I said. So if you want to see what is in the cabinet behind me, then keep watching. Here's a quick overview of the cabinet. It does look a bit crazy because of the mirror doors. So it really just ends here and then over here, wherever the hinges are, that's really where the cabinet ends. It just looks like there's double the product because the doors are also mirrored. So before we go into the cabinet, I'll just show you guys quickly what is on top of the vanity. It's very basic. It's essentially my cleansers and then also my oral care stuff, so my toothpaste and my toothbrush. So let's start with my cleansers. So these are all of the cleansers that I have right now. This one is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I just um, decanted it into a Muji container because the other container is not as aesthetically pleasing, plus also it's a bit taller, so it can sometimes hit the medicine cabinet here. Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I really like. This is still my first bottle of this actually. So I probably would repurchase this when I'm through. And then these two are what I use for my first cleanse. And my first cleanse is usually an oil cleanse. I've been using the Hylamide High Efficiency Face Cleaner for a couple of weeks now, and I do like it. I got this during the, I think, Boxing Day or Black Friday sale. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this. It works really well, but I just don't like the scent of it. It actually doesn't have a fragrance, but whatever the, the scent is, is just not pleasant to my nose or my olfactory system. This one I love, which is a rice water bright rich cleansing oil from the face shop. Um, it's just a really lightweight oil cleanser. This little guy is the Miracle Cleansing Sponge, I believe, from Real Techniques. I'm not entirely sure what the name is. I did repurchase this though because I really like it. Um, this is my second one of this and I already have a backup. It's just a really nice alternative to the Clarisonic if I don't feel like using the Clarisonic that day and I want just like a really nice gentle exfoliation, this is what I'll use. It does expand a little bit when it's wet. Currently it's dry and it lives in this little holder here, which I got from YesStyle. Over on the other side is where I have my hand soap. This is again another container from Muji, but inside this is a hand soap from, I'm trying to think, oh, I think it's Live Clean, it's the coconut one. And then I obviously have my toothpaste and my toothbrush. In case you're wondering what kind of toothpaste I use, I use the Colgate one, it's the Enamel Help. And then this little brush holder is from HomeSense. I like it because it kind of matches the vanity top. It has a bit of um, like a gold fleck or a silver fleck to it. Here I just have some random bits and bobs. So I have a Charlotte Tilbury um, lip pencil, which I don't really know why that's there. This one I use every single night though after my um, skincare routine. And it is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. When I'm doing my skincare, I essentially add all of my skincare onto my lips. And then this just helps lock in the moisture throughout the night. So over here, I have just a bunch of random little things. This tray is from HomeSense. It's a ceramic tray, so it has trinkets on it. I have some hair elastics here, a clip for my bangs. This is a, an Etude House um, lash serum, which doesn't really work, but I like it. It conditions my lashes. And then of course some dental floss and then these soft picks is my dentist recommended that I use these. 
So getting into the good stuff, I split my medicine cabinet into two sections. So this first section, which you guys are seeing, is really my skincare section, and then the other half is my skincare overflow slash hair and body section. So starting with the bottom row, I just have some Q-tips here, which uh, is an old um, diptyque candle that I emptied out and cleaned. This container is from, I feel like Ikea, and it's where I keep all of my cotton squares. Then I have this little, it's actually a beauty blender container that I repurposed to put all of my tweezers in. And then I have some lip balms and exfoliators. So you guys know I love the Sephora Honey Lip Scrub. I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's the Nukes Rev de Miel, which is the honey balm. I have been using this every single day the last couple of days because of my new friend on my cheek. And it's a drying lotion from Mario Badescu, so I keep that there. I just have some masks here. So the Herbivore Clay Mask, and then the Chantecaille Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. I'm almost out of this, and I definitely would not repurchase it. I just don't think it's worth the money. Uh, little mini bioderma and then back there is my little backup of the cleansing sponge from Real Techniques. I bought that on Amazon by the way. My first one that I bought was from Ulta when I went to the States uh, but I obviously haven't been back since so I just picked that up at Amazon. It was about 10 bucks. Then we move into my main skincare shelf and as you can see I favor a lot of the ordinary products. So again, I kind of split in half. So this half is really for my daytime and then this half is for my nighttime or my treatments. So starting on my daytime side, I just have a bunch of different products. So the Hyalamide Glow Radiance Booster. I've only tried this a couple of times, so don't know if it really works yet. Um, ginseng Eye Cream from Origins. This has been kind of my go-to uh, morning concoction, which is the Niacinamide Alpha Arbutin and the Uke 134. Then over here is kind of my nighttime concoction. So I have the Hylomide Sub-Q Eyes. I've been trying to use up this Obagi C Therapy Clarifying Serum, which is supposed to be um, a skin lightening serum. It has hydroquinone in it, which is not my favorite, but I did spend like something like $70 on this. So I thought I would use it. It might've been even more than that. I can't remember. Um, the Buffet from The Ordinary, a couple of retinols and retinoids and some lactic acid, and then the Azelaic Acid Suspension, 10%. My skincare routine changes a lot, so this shelf changes a lot, but whatever I'm currently using in terms of serums is typically on this shelf. Okay, moving on, we have my toners and moisturizers. So here we have the Secret Key Tea Tree Toner and the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. These are just the only two toners I'm using right now. I also have some Essence from Secret Key, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid from Hadalabo. It's the Gokujin, I think it's the Moisturizing Lotion, something like that. Then we have moisturizers, so Embryolisse, Indeed, Clarins, The Ordinary, some SPFs. So currently using the Body Shop Vitamin C one, but behind it we have some La Roche-Posay and also Nivea. For masks, I have these two, which is the Egg Mousse Pack from Too Cool For School and the Skin Purifying Mask from First Aid Beauty. I might toss this one because I haven't used it in a while, so it's, it might have gone off. Some toning water from Muji, which is nice. It's very basic. It just really feels like water on the skin, but it is nice. And then if I'm exfoliating my skin, I am either using the Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel from Secret Key, or if you are a longtime viewer, you will be very familiar with my love for Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. And then if I'm wearing a really heavy duty mascara or, you know, eye makeup, I'm always removing it with the Garnier Micellar Water. So we're getting to the very top shelf, which is very difficult for me to reach, but here I just have a bunch of backups. So the Sub-Q Anti-Age Serum is actually new. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm waiting till I use up the buffet. These are backups, so I have the Magnesium Asorbyl Phosphate, Niacinamide, and then Alpha Arbutin. This is also new, it's from Juvian's, have not tried it yet, a backup of my cleansing oil, and then also the Bioderma Hydrobio, which is amazing. So we're gonna go top to bottom on this side. Again, very top shelf, very difficult for me to reach, but I have a backup of the Chlorine Dry Shampoo for dark hair. This is the one with oat milk. I also have a backup of the Chlorine Deodorant. I have backups because when I was in France, I picked duos up of each. Um, I also have this travel size version of the um, 
gel wash from Bioderma, which is nice. The exfoliating scrub and moisturizing cream and then also relaxing soak. This is from the Avon Footworks line. I love this so much. Um, I always kind of treat myself to a spa day once a week, so I always have to have this on hand. I purchased this in bulk last year and this is my last trio of it. And then I also have some Nair hair removal cream to remove my mustache. So the next two shelves, I have a whole bunch of minis here. So these are either samples or um, products that I got in mini sizes. So I have a few of the Origins uh, masks. So I have the Drink Up um, Intensive Overnight Mask, the 10 Minute Mask, and then also the Charcoal. And then I have some makeup removers and just some other random little products that I probably got as like a VIB perk. And then here are some hair stuff. So this is the Moroccan oil um, medium finish hairspray, which I love. I love the smell of Moroccan oil. If you've ever smelled their products, you'll know their smell. They smell really great. These are some Matrix products. So I, whenever I don't blow dry my hair, I'll always add some of these products in because they're made for air drying your hair. So they're not made for when you blow dry your hair. They're made to kind of tame your hair for when you just let your hair air dry, which I absolutely love. My favorite one is, I think this one, Air Dry Wild. It's like a texturizing air dry cream, and I also really like the smoothing air dry cream. This is a detox dry conditioner, which I actually don't really like, but it smells very good, so I'm gonna use it up. The Live Clean um, Miracle Nutrition Oil, which is actually a pre-shampoo, so you use this before you shampoo your hair. You leave it in for like five to 10 minutes. I love that. This is the Fido Spray Volume Intense. I've only tried this a couple of times, so I don't really have an opinion, so I need to try it a couple more times before I decide if I like it. Okay, these are our last two shelves. So I have this little container, again, I pretty sure this is from Ikea, of just little samples that I have. So skincare samples and also hair samples. Things that I'm actually interested in trying. You know how you get so many samples, but you know most of them you don't even really want to try. So these are products I actually do want to try at some point. Um, I have a couple left of my L'Occitane little samples from my advent calendar over the holidays. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Still love that. I also have a little mini of the triple sec three in one. Again, not a huge fan, but I'm gonna use it up. It was like a hundred point perk. Some extra brushes for my Clarisonic. This is a organic cold press Moroccan argan oil, which I just use in my hair, but you can use it on your skin, but I don't. <laughs> um, the coconut oil gel from Rich Kid. I also quite like this, but I feel like it's overpriced for what you get. I think I much prefer the Chill Boho from Matrix or also the Wild Boho. They're supposed to do fairly the same thing. And then on the last shelf here, we have some body and hair stuff again. I also have my electric toothbrush. I keep it on the shelf because it actually doesn't fit on the vanity. It always hits the doors if I were to leave it actually on my vanity. So I keep it in the medicine cabinet. I'm also trying out this new Chlorine dry shampoo. This is the one with nettle, which is supposed to be very good for people with oily scalps or oily hair, which is me. I also love the BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. This is a heat slash UV protective primer. So again, you put this in your hair when it's damp and then the actual hairdresser's oil, you put in your hair when it's kind of, um, you know, fairly styled or dry. Deodorant from Chlorine. I'm almost through this actually, and I do like it. It might be a little bit strong, like the aerosol spray, I'm not used to it, and you just gotta use it in a well-ventilated area. I also have some soaking salts from Herbivore here, the Body Hero from Glossier, the Event Thermal Spray, which is really nice, Lac Hydrin, which is great for if you have bumps on the back of your arms, which I sometimes do. It just helps kind of like decongest your skin on your body. And then I also have this huge, um, container of SPF. This is from Target. It's from the Up and Up brand. I'm ho hoping this isn't expired. It expires in 2019, so it's still good. I love that this comes with a pump because it's gonna be so easy to apply in the summertime. Okay, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Sorry about the poor lighting because we are filming in the bathroom. It's dark out, I'm using bathroom lighting, and as you guys know, bathroom lighting is not always the most flattering. So I've been using this cabinet for 
the last, I don't know, six, seven months now and I absolutely love it. It holds everything. Uh, before I had um, these little like sh wooden shelves on the wall where I kept all of my skincare, but this is so much more efficient and so much more um, effective for my lifestyle. So I'm very, very happy that we chose to go with this and it was fairly reasonably priced. Um, the lighting that we have on the top is the lighting that goes with this cabinet because um, just the way our bathroom's laid out, uh, any other kind of lighting just wouldn't work so well because this cabinet's so tall. But I love it, I'm so happy with it, and it's like my new favorite thing in this bathroom, other than the tub. The tub is also my favorite thing in this bathroom. But eventually I will be showing you guys a tour of the bathroom, and hopefully I can get that up soon. Uh, I gotta tidy up a little bit in here, because this cabinet is not always like this. I It definitely gets a little bit messy, especially the countertop with my vanity. So you gotta catch me on a good day when everything's clean and tidy, and and that's the day that I'll probably film that video. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.